Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, I hope everybody has seen the announcement from OpenAI regarding GPT-40 model and already uh, in my previous video, I've shown you the capabilities of this. In this specific video, we are going to develop an end-to-end -end RAG application using the updated GPT-40 model uh, from OpenAI. Along with this, one more added feature will be there. I'm going to show you a new vector database, which is called as object box. And uh, this vector database will efficiently work in the offline mode, store the data in a very efficient way. So I will also be showing you how you can actually use this object box. Uh, it is a complete open source and amazingly you'll be able to develop an application. So let me quickly go ahead and open my uh, project and again I will be continuing in the same Langchain series. So first of all as usual step by step we'll try to see I am going to load the I'm going to import the dot env from load underscore dot env. This is basically to call all my environment variables that I have actually created in my env file. So with respect to this particular env file I will be calling my open AI API key. I hope everybody may be familiar with this and I've executed any number of times all these things and I've explained you that too. Uh, next thing what we are going to do is that uh, this is the website that we are going to use. So let me just open this particular website and uh, I'm going to probably load the content from this particular website, create uh, index, uh, uh, create vectors out of it, store it in the vector DB that is called as object box. And from there, we are going to ask any question and try to use GPT-40 model to summarize the data or to ask any queries from this particular page, right? So all those things we are specifically going to do. Uh, so let's go ahead step by step. And first of all, we need to load this particular page. So for that, we will be using document loaders, uh, nothing but web-based loader. I have already imported from langchain underscore community dot document loader, import web-based loader. So after executing this, uh, you'll be able to see that uh, I will be using this web-based loader and you just need to give the URL. Uh, of that particular page, uh, all the content that is available in that particular page will be loaded. And by using loader.load, I will be able to get the documents and this will basically be my final document. So these are all the documents over here. Now, once I probably get all the documents, um, the next thing that I am going to do is that divide this particular documents into chunks. Uh, so for that, uh, again, convert that into chunks and using OpenAI embedding, I'm going to convert that into vector and finally store it in a vector database called as object box. So for object box, we will be using langchain underscore object box. Uh, so this is the first requirement that you really need to fulfill. So we will go ahead and update in our requirement.txt file and just go ahead and pip install the requirement.txt. By that, you will be able to get this particular library installed. And with the help of langchain, we will also be able to use the object box vector DB. So from langchain underscore object box dot vector stores, import object box. And then along with that, I will also be using OpenAI embeddings. OpenAI embeddings is basically to convert all the text into vectors. So the next step, I'm going to basically import recursive character text splitter and I'm going to split all this particular data Data that I have into chunks, right? So that is what I've actually done from langchain underscore text underscore splitter import recursive character text splitter. And then I'm going to initialize this uh, default values of uh, overlap chunks and text chunks will be somewhere around 1000 and 200 that you can specifically check from the documentation. And then I'm going to use text underscore splitter dot split documents with respect to this particular data. And finally, this is my data, right? So let me just go ahead and create uh, this is my final documents in chunks, right? So overall, I get four documents. Now what I will be taking doing is that I will be converting all these particular documents into vectors and storing it in the vector DB. How to do that? So from langchain uh, underscore openai import openai embeddings, so then I'm going to call object box dot from documents. I'll give all my documents. I'll use ob open AI embeddings for converting the text into vectors. And here we will be giving another embedding dimension that is 768. So once I do this, so this basically becomes my vector. And uh, one more thing you can probably see once I write this right here, you'll be able to see that my object box uh, vector database is basically created. And this is the file that I have data.mdb. Log.mdb will be locking this particular database till I specifically use it. Once I restart the kernel, then this particular database will be unlocked and you can probably do anything for this particular file. Okay. So now your vector is ready. Uh, this is basically your vector database altogether. Now you can convert this into a uh, retriever and you can probably can uh, convert that into a rack pipeline. So for creating a rack pipeline, I will be using from langchain underscore openai, import chat openai. This is for your interaction as a chat. 
uh, then I'll also be importing output parser from string output parser. This is responsible for displaying the output from the LLM model. This is basically used for creating your own prompt template. And finally, I'm also going to use a retrieval QA that is actually going to give you the entire data. Uh, it'll help us to create the retrieval chain itself, right? Along with that, I'm also going to use hub where I can directly download my rack prompt. Okay. So here are all the things I have imported it. So let's go ahead and initialize it. Now I'm going to initialize chat open AI and I'm giving the model name as GPT 4.0, right? So this is where I am specifically calling my GPT 4.0 model, right? Then uh, I'm just going to pull from the hub what will be the rack prompt. So if you really want to see the prompt, you can also display it over here. And already it is available in the hub. So that is the reason I did not create it from scratch. If you want to create it from scratch, use the chat prompt template and try to convert it. Okay. Uh, so the same thing, you can basically do it. So this is my chat prompt template. The input variables is context question. Metadata is over here. Rack prompt template is over here. The input variables, everything is over here. You can probably see if you don't know the answer, use the following piece of retrieve context. So this will basically be used for question answering task. You are an assistant for question answering task. Use the following piece of retrieved context to answer the questions and all are there, right? So finally, I'm actually able to see my prompt. Now I'm going to use this retrieval QA and I'm going to create the chain from chain type. I'm going to use LLM retriever will be that I will be converting this vector database as a retriever because this retriever will be an interface to provide the data from this particular vector database that is vector DB. Then the chain type argument, I'm going to specifically give the prompt, which is saved into this particular variable. So this becomes my QA chain. Now I can probably take uh, a question, explain what is Langsmith. So I will take this QA chain. I'll put it inside my input variable that is query, and this will be given as a question. So once I probably display the result, you will be able to see that my result will be something like this. Uh, explain what is Langsmith. So I will be able to see the result over here. This is taken from the entire document itself that is stored over there. Langsmith is a vector platform designed for the development, monitoring and testing of LLM. It supports various stages of the application lifecycle, including prototype, beta testing and production. The platform offers tools for tracing, evaluation, feedback and collection, right? So this is if you just want the answer, you can probably display it over here. Finally, uh, if you want to probably display it in a prettier way, then you can import PP print. And then here you can probably see PP print dot pretty, uh, pretty printer indent is equal to four, or I will give indent is equal to five to display it much more better. And finally, you can see platform uh, Langsmith is a platform designed for development, monitoring and testing of LLM models. So now you can probably go ahead and ask any question that you want. Let me just go ahead and ask one more question over here. <clears throat> Let's see any kind of questions uh, that we specifically see from the website. Um, capturing feedback, production. So I can just go ahead and ask about monitoring A to B testing. Okay. In Langsmith and I can probably execute it and this I will be able to get the question. Langsmith provides the monitoring charts to track key metrics over time, allowing users to drill down into specific data points for debugging and all. And there are a lot of features that already uh, this uh, GPT-4.0 provides, but I really wanted to show you a RAG application where you can specifically use all these things. Along with this, you can also work with images, you can work with text, you can work in multiple factors, things, and a lot of end-to-end -end projects have already created. So yes, this was it from my side. I hope you like this particular video. I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all. Take care. Bye-bye.